Alright, I'm back with more Harry Potter. Even though it isn't Deathly Hallows. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the password. How do they talk like they've never been in this room before? I mean, I know it wasn't a thing in the first two games, but that's still a weird conversation to have when you're starting your third year. Press tab to open the Marauder's map. Well, tab is how I open the text box on the bottom of the screen to enter my debug commands, so now I literally can't access it directly. Well, I guess I could pause the game and then navigate to it, but oh well. It's not like I ever used it two years ago when I was playing through the game for real, however long ago that was, but yeah, tab. Oh, hang on a second. Let me show you what this bonus clips is about first. Yep. We're doing low-gravity experiments today. But yeah, I feel bad that I mentioned which button you have to press for debugging only once in passing, which was a pretty key piece of information. So yeah, tab is what you hit to bring up the text box, which lets you type in all your debug commands, assuming you have the patch applied, and I'm seeing the backside of Harry's face. Good lord. And it's not just falling that's affected. I mean, jumping up and jumping forwards has changed too as a consequence of all this. I mean, you can even see that when these chests eject their goodies. Things are more prone to bounce around for a little while longer too. Now, I do want to offer a more technical explanation for just a moment before we begin to play through the final exams again in Lunar Gravity. What I've done here is not something you can achieve in debug mode. I had to edit a configuration file first called hppoa.ini, and there's a large wealth of parameters in here you could tweak and experiment with. I'll show you which values I changed just for the sake of explanatory thoroughness, but to spare you the pain of changing the parameters yourself, I'll just give you a download link in the video description to a copy of my modified file. Which I assume is okay to do, as it's just a 10 kilobyte text file and it's not like I'm distributing copies of the entire game around. But if you download it, just drop whichever HPPOA file you want to use right into the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban folder in My Documents. I should also point out that this zip file that I'm offering for download contains the same configuration text file multiple times for various experiments I showcase in both bonus clips 5 and 6. I'll also include the debug patch I've used, because why not? Anyways, let's get started. There's an option that lets you change gravity along three axes, and obviously, since Z is the only non-zero value, then that's the one that pulls the characters and other objects downwards. So if we bring that value a bit closer to zero, we should have less gravity. And I won't necessarily explain every little thing I changed, but I had also modified these three values too. I feel it enhances the effect. Alright, let's get to it. Fantastic start. Well, no one said this was necessarily going to be an easier. Alright, here we go. Okay, look. There's less gravity right now. Why was I pulling on the connection as if I'm being weighed down even more? Alright, you do you, Ron. Let's try a running jump. Oh, well that was dumb. I should have timed my jump better with a rotating platform. Never mind. I guess that didn't matter after all. I love it when you can steer yourself around in video games as you're falling or otherwise moving through the air. I say fuck it, just do running jumps instead of spells. Yeah, that works. Ah, shit. Well, I still gotta get up there, though. It's not the one I meant to hit. Okay, yeah, by the way, I'm not aiming to get every shield or, or bean or everything. Just, you know, I'm just physically trying to get through the course. Which is gonna be harder if I keep banging my head against the underside of these platforms. And again, I... I don't understand why I keep falling further as if I was stretching out the spell's purple connection of light with additional gravitational force. Did I seriously just miss that? 
Christ almighty. Ugh. Oh, damn. I thought the upward momentum would carry me up high enough to land on that. See, now I'm stuck here, and I'm being held upward at an angle instead of dangling below the purple orb, too. Okay, get it, 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 get it. Get it. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, god. Ah, damn it, this f fucking shit where I keep banging my head on everything. Oh, nice. I went higher that time. I wonder how high I can go, actually. Man, this is weird. I, sh I should probably stop goofing around and try to move on out of this tower. Oh, sweet, nearly cleared the walls. And I'm dead again. Poor Ron. I'm fucking around with him during one of his most important examinations ever. Okay then, where the hell do I go now? I don't even remember anymore. Can't reach that orb, though. Hmm. Oh, can I jump to that one? Nope. Oh, so close. Oh. What? Now, how the fuck did I end up back here? Did I get disoriented about where I was and started going backwards? <sighs> I bet that's what happens. I don't know. Okay, here we go for a running jump again. Solid landing. Now let's see, I know which tower I came out of and which one I need to proceed into to go forward. I think I can... Yeah, smooth moves. Alright then, I go this way, and I'm not going to make that platform. Uh... Okay, if I, I think I can land on it. My wand is just making me stick out to the side. So far, I wasn't sure if I would fall off the edge or something, but I made it. Now, we've reached the tower where we have to make our way through the interior of it, I think. Oh, for God's sake, I can't get used to this. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, shit. I nearly died. Okay, it's all good, though. Are you serious? Are you serious? I just bypassed an entire section of the map. And I wasn't even trying. Okay, great. So that's what I have to look forward to now. Trying to get these shits into the hole when they're just gonna bounce all over the place. There were four of them, though, so I guess I already got one of them in. Okay, that's two down. Yeah, I can see how this could get really annoying. But on the other hand, I've already eliminated three of them without even trying, so I guess it's not really that difficult. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. If I could fucking aim. If I could fucking aim. There we go. Good lord. Okay, I'll grab this shit real quick. Actually, what's the point? I'm just experimenting. I don't need any of it. Nice. I got my first shield so far, and I'm probably halfway through the course already. Well, I can tell this part will be pretty easy, too. Kinda feel bad about it, but hey, it's not cheating if I already beat the game, I guess. Although, jumping around and bypassing other parts of this course relatively quickly makes these platforms feel so much slower than usual. I can't believe I just did that. Literally zero effort required. Unfortunately, I need to go through the gate to go any further. Fuck it, though. Poor Ronald only got two out of five shields. That's a 40% on a final exam. No, not really. I want to try all three final exams. Alright, let's see how painful of an experience this is. 
Invisible walls of collision detection. Again. I guess I can't blame the developers for covering all their bases, but imagine if you could just jump onto the railings and bypass a bunch of shit just by tweaking a configuration file. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, getting through this narrow tunnel wasn't a problem. I was worried that having to jump over roots in a confined space would be an issue, but I guess not. Oh yeah, and this little rabbit unearthed the Spongify tile earlier. Oh, there's a second one too. God only knows how fucked up that's going to be in this lower gravity setting. Ah, jeez. Okay, I can do this. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Okay, I just need to be cool and take it slowly. And now I can easily jump over the ledge from the end of this elevated pathway. Okay, that was pretty weird. There's something else weird, too. I swear the sound of the bunny hopping is louder in lower gravity compared to when I was playing the game normally without cheating. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fuck off. Damn it. Oh well, I guess I have to ghost through the wall, unless I try to land on the outer edge of the tile to get out as far as possible. Eh, nope. Danny Phantom time. Oh, damn, did you see that? Those toxic green mushroom blobs that you have to stomp on were hiding under the surface of the ground the whole time. Uh, yeah, I know, I just bypassed the whole room. Fuck it. I probably don't want to use cheats like the ghost command to bypass things like locked gates very often, since I want to see how much of this I can do where low gravity is really the only main difference. But I did it at the end of Ron's exam anyway, so whatever. If I can make up my own rules, I can break them, too, I suppose. I'm not even sure how much of a rule that was. More like a subconscious mode of thought. I don't know, I'm rambling again, and I missed the fucking fireball. Okay, it seems as though the dragon coasts forward on momentum a lot more. Other than that and the bunny jumping higher, I'm not sure there's a whole lot of difference playing through Hermione's final exam. But let's see how easily we can fly through the obstacle course. See, that's what I mean. I nearly missed the fireball again because the dragon coasts forward so much it's hard to break and slow down. At least I can walk part of the way. That's still normal. Okay, so when the dragon hops into the air to take flight, it jumps higher, too. That's to be expected, I suppose, but then it takes a couple of seconds for it to gradually fall back down so it can clear the top of the hole I'm trying to make it fly through. This will probably be fine. It seems the walls move out of the way faster than the dragon can float back downwards. And I guess as far as speed goes, when you move forwards, that's still the same. Oh. Hmm. Eh, this could be tricky. So slow. So slow. You wish the dragon could do something cool like a dive bomb maneuver or something. Come on. Well, at least I didn't run out of time during the descent portion of that obstacle course. Yeah, I forgot the wings keep clipping the walls and stop you dead in your tracks. That's fucking annoying. Come on. Get... God, that's so irritating. That was probably my biggest complaint about Hermione's final exam when I made the Let's Play for this game a while ago. Ah, uh, but hey, the, uh, the end is in sight. There's the shield, and there's the fireball. What the hell? I could have sworn I lit that goblet on fire, or whatever that bowl is. Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, I'm done with this exam, I guess. You've completed the exam in good time, Miss Granger, but you did not collect all five shields. 
Would you like to retake the exam to improve your score? God damn it, I made her mine and get a 20%. Of all the people to score that low. Ready for the Glacius final exam, Harry. Ready, Professor Flitwick. Splendid. Splendid indeed. I've been curious. Man, my voice cracked. I was curious how these ice slides would perform in low gravity, especially when you get to the end of a jump. And so far, well, the steering control feels a bit tighter when sliding, but not so bad. Oh, good, here we go. We ah, that was underwhelming. All right, I'll just get a chocolate frog, I guess. What, what am I doing? I just compulsively grab shit even if I don't need it. I'm pathetic. Uh, I should have tried jumping across, although that gate would have probably still blocked me from reaching that final shield prematurely. Well, that's a big fucking problem now. How am I supposed to hit these guys? Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. It just went right over his head. Quit taunting me and give me more ammo. Damn it. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss right now. Okay, that sort of works. Punching them in the face with it does actually defeat them. But I'll always take damage, too, as a consequence. Or I guess I could still throw it at them if I'm close enough, rather than standing on the opposite side of the room. Gotta hate these things. Running around in their loincloths while they're all, like, <laughs> throwing shit at you. Annoying fuckers. Oh, nice. I managed to get two at once. That's cool. The floor lowers itself faster than gravity is currently pulling down on Harry. Oh, great. I have to get to do this shit again. God, this is already annoying. Oh, chocolate frog! I actually needed that this time after the near suicidal encounter with the imps earlier. Man, this is fucked. Oh, I wonder how high I can make it go. Yeah, that's cool. I wish my robe would stop getting in the way of the camera, though. I can't see shit half the time. Guess I can't cast any farther away than that, either. Another shot will keep it up there a bit longer. God, this sucks ass, though. Like, I'm glad at least that merely touching the turtle shells doesn't hurt you, even though they're covered in spikes. Like, it... Like it might in a Super Mario game, you know. Or else that would make this whole experiment a lot more dangerous and frustrating. But, uh, like, what else do I even do now? I mean, I've done this once before with Ron, so why am I struggling more at the moment? This is bullshit. I, actually, I wonder if those farts smell like burning natural gas with that sulfur additive mixed in. Oh god. I nearly got this one in. Yes, I did. Yay, okay, one down, one to go. Let's see how long it takes for me to get rid of this second fire crab, though. If only I could shove it along the ground by walking into it. Although I guess even with normal gravity, that would defeat the whole purpose of using the Rictum Sempra spell. I might get it back... I might get it to back up far enough here, or not. Damn, that thing just bounced off my head. It just floats down like one of those balloon animals from the circus. I don't even know if that made sense, but I just said. I don't get it, though. It, it took 45 seconds for me to defeat four of these things when I was playing as Ron earlier. And I only had one gate I was forced to put them in, rather than having the luxury of choosing between four of them in a wider open space. So how the hell did I get so lucky earlier during the Carpe Retractum exam? Come on, you fucker! Just... Ugh... Oh. Now what is it doing? Great, I think it glitched out. Well, I have zero chance of getting it into the hole if it stays up there. Well, damn, it fell like a rock. 
Okay, it's not responding to the gravity in the same way anymore, and another to appear. God damn. Well, they... Well, these are floating away normally, at least. Oh my god, one of them landed on top of the pipes now. Get the fuck down here, or I could just focus on this other fire crit for now. Oh, I don't know, I, I can never decide what to do. I say one thing and then do the opposite. And that's glitching again. I'll keep that other one at bay for a few seconds while I watch this one continuing to have a seizure in midair. Oh, awesome, it's heavy again. So that's one strategy, I suppose. Hit it repeatedly in midair until it glitches and becomes heavier. Or maybe the glitch will make it slide into a different hole by itself. <laughs> okay, then. It got back up on its legs, but not quite in time. So I could try to glitch this one out, too. Or try and do it the proper way. Which... Uh... Oh, shit. Nice! Did it. Oh, fuck! Off! Okay, even if this wasn't so difficult after I've changed the game settings, isn't this a bit excessive anyways? Honestly, well, alright, at least I got one of them in pretty quickly. Well, that's another method, I suppose. Have it bounce back into your face so it doesn't go all over the place. Thus shortening the distance, it can go back and forth until you've basically got it on the edge of the hole unless it bounces off your fucking head instead. Or it can just go over my head. Maybe that's not such a practical strategy after all. Fuck! It bounced again. So do I have to use the old method? Am I stuck doing that? Stuck just trying the same thing repeatedly until I get lucky? God damn it! I was so close that time, but it went over my fucking head again, so I had to back up some more... God, piece of shit. Okay, now I think I've got it. Alright, very good. One to go. I tried to think about it earlier, what the best distance might be for launching these things just right, and I thought maybe it was roughly a little further than halfway across the room or beyond the center of the floor. Well, okay, now that I said that, it, it actually worked out for me that time, but it seemed like it hadn't been working more often than not earlier during this exam. Wait a minute. Oh! God, I've got to do this again? Fuck, this is, this is the worst thing ever. I mean, it's my fault for fucking the game up, but still. It wasn't even that long ago I played through this game. I remember the Glacius final exam had... Relatively few instances where there were situations where you would actually use the Glacius Charm. I think that was my main complaint about this part of the game when I was playing through it properly. But I forgot I had to fight off so many of these fire crabs over and over and over again. The fuck? Well, that's... Alright, one down, three to go. Well, that's two down, two to go. I don't think I've even been down in this lower area for a whole minute yet, so that's a good start, I suppose. I don't know where that other one went, so I'm going to just hope it got itself stuck in the ceiling for a moment and will be heavy soon, and that glitch is a... It's a lifesaver sometimes. Damn it! Again with that shit. I fucking hate this so much. I mean, it's kind of funny, but not when you're the one playing it. Holy shit. So it won't fit through the gap between the wall and the pillar. If only it could turn on its side a bit. Just squeeze right through there. I always seem to trick myself into thinking that it's close enough to the opening of the gate that it won't have enough distance to move up high enough and bounce off the wall. But instead, I keep making the same mistake over and over and over and over again. God, fuck. Oh shit, now it might work. Yeah, I, I did it. Just one more. I don't know what I'm doing differently, but I'm pretty sure that didn't bounce up as high as it sometimes does. Okay, so something definitely changed, and I shouldn't complain. It just fucking bounced out again. What's happening with this one? Suddenly it's so much easier. Finally done. Oh god, those beans are gonna fly everywhere. 
At least the pixies are just as easy as before, so that's no problem. Okay. I think I got them all. Yeah, there's the shield. I wasn't totally paying attention, and I don't remember if I said this two and a half or three years ago whenever I played through this game, but is it possible to complete the Glacius exam without getting 100%? It seems like you can't progress to the next part of the test until you get the shield. So... How else is the floor supposed to keep moving downward? Oh, I missed one. Alright, well, come here, you little shit. God damn it. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work, but I thought it was about to blow up in my hand. Also, this is a much larger indoor space, so if they're smart enough, then they can outrun me while I'm holding on to these things. That would have been so awesome if one of them had hit the other one in the face with one of those wizarding crackers, but... I'm not sure they start expanding until after they hit the ground for the first time. So even if one imp did hit the other one, it probably doesn't do anything. Cool, another two-in-one. Damn, I've got less than half my health remaining, though. Oh shit, we're bringing in the fire salamanders in the middle of this fight. I thought those came out after the imps were gone. I mean, all the imps are gone now, fortunately, but still. Actually, that might be cool if you could toss wizarding crackers at the fire salamanders. But I doubt this game is programmed in such a way that those particular items would do any damage to those particular enemies. Oh, god damn it, the spongify tile. Although I'll be going straight up instead of trying to clear a wall this time. Alright. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not dealing with that bullshit again. I'll just vertically run up this whole tower. I don't care. Might take me half a minute to do it, but I don't need any spongify tiles for this. Actually, that didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Wait a minute. The floor didn't come back. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see what it's up that flight of stairs beyond the final shield. Probably a dead end. Yeah, sure is dark in here, though. Oops! Oh, that's alright. That's all I wanted to do with this final exam anyways. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you is a bunch of shit I tried all at once. I messed around with some graphics and lighting settings, some audio parameters, and I found a separate configuration file that lets you adjust the speed that your spells are cast, so I decided to slow that way down as well. I'll use subtitles instead of talking over this clip since I want you to hear the bizarre sound, but I want to point out ahead of time that not only do the lip movements on the 3D character model stay at the same speed, therefore outrunning the reduced audio speed and getting out of sync, but the game will stop one line of dialogue that it's in the middle of to start another line of dialogue by the same character which is especially noticeable as you follow along with reading the in-game subtitles, although different characters can still talk over each other just like before. I will obviously come bring a real dimension to the castle. The moment will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in the first will practice on a time you want at the target. Hold out and see a ring of light. Move for a perfect cast. You must release the spell. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell. Why is expected a try?
the war group has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. start talking here. You'd think this little exercise would be ending in the next several seconds now, but no! This suddenly becomes so unexpectedly difficult, I had a terrible time with it. Now there's three Dementors surrounding me, obviously, but they started from further away, so sometimes the Patronus charm fizzles out before it can reach them. When I do hit one of them, though, they fall back for several seconds, but it takes me so long to hit another Dementor that the previous Dementor that I hit had enough time to shake it off and begins advancing upon me again. Now, as a reminder, the way this level is set up means that I'm stuck pivoting in one spot rather than being able to walk around and get closer to one of the Dementors to cast at it before running away again. You'd think this might get easier as they all get in closer proximity to me, but it just doesn't. And casting Expecto Patronum at the same ones multiple times to keep them at bay didn't work either, unfortunately. So I'm kind of at a loss now. And unfortunately I eventually fainted because I couldn't keep them all off me with the slower spell speed. But that's just the price you pay sometimes for fucking around with the game files, I guess. This is my last ditch effort to let them get close enough to me so I could hit them roughly at the same time, but it didn't work. Well, I think this video's gone on long enough, so check out Bonus Clip 6 if you want to see three additional experiments I did with the gravity settings in this game. Uh, I don't have a better way to end the video than just saying bye, so... Bye!